This man has a way with words, and he shares his unique visions of Texas with the world. Meet Dave Parsons, 2011 Pellet Laureate for the great state of Texas. Um, well, I was born in Villa Rica, Georgia, 1943, and uh, my father moved to Texas uh, when I was just a toddler. So my first memories are my nose pressed to the window looking for cows and cowboys on the way to Texas. When you get designated uh, Texas Poet Laureate, your life uh, changes demonstratively because, uh, first of all, you get, you get the publicity of it all over the state and sometimes around the nation. Like there were articles in, uh, in other states about uh, uh, me getting Poet Laureate. Uh, one of the advantages of being announced with the state musician is that they always have a famous state musician, like I love it. So I got to ride his coattails and all these announcements all over the nation. You know. One of the elder Poet Laureates told me, he said, you know now that when you die, the next thing they'll say after you died was you were the Texas Poet Laureate. <laughs> so, not such a bad burden. To that's bear. not bad. That's that's pretty good. I, when I got Poet Laureate, several people that are in the arts in Conroe, including Craig Campabella, who is the wonderful artist that did this bust, um, approached me and said, "We'd like to put." You know, we got this new park and we'd like to put a couple of bronzes in the park and one of them we'd like to be you, you know. And I was just like awed by it. I, uh, you know, you don't expect something like this while you're still alive at least. Uh, I'm still actively writing. However, uh, I've just come off of finishing two very large projects. One was uh, a new and selected, very complete new and selected poetry book called Reaching for Longer Water uh, th that came out this spring. And far out, Poems of the 60s, an anthology of 60s poems, 80 poets, uh, 80 really famous distinguished poets, and, and Wendy Barker, the poet in residence at UTSA, um, and I put this together. It took us six years, and it was published in April. My first attempt at poetry was when I was in college and I uh, had been kicked out of the University of Texas uh, and was trying to rehabilitate myself at Bland College in Brenham and my girlfriend was still at the University of Texas and she had a date uh, with someone else while I was in Brenham and I found out about it and, and rather than try and find him and beat him up, I, ge geography kept me from doing that so I had I was very frustrated. I found myself writing a poem. When I finished this poem, I was exhausted. And, uh, and I thought to myself, this is pretty good. I didn't get any stitches. I didn't get arrested. And I feel like I've been in a fight. And uh, from that day forward, I was open to poetry. Knowing Texas, 2012, for Corporal Joseph D. Logan, Willis, Texas. Outside Abilene, under huge sky field fields of the family-owned cotton farm, an only son has come back home from a life lived in the now burn-dotted, rolling, verdant hill country and the drought-drudged lakes and streams of an inexorable, bustling, eclectic Austin metropolis. And he is kicking the inherited dusty furrows like the tires of some old familiar used car with comforting boots that still fit after 30 some odd years. While on the very lush edge of the big thicket forest, over 40, 400 miles southeast, an artist is perched cozy in her small town treehouse of a studio, painting with joyful wonder a black capped chickadee, a bird she had never noticed before, living cloaked for years in the deep green shadows of lofty pines, brush, and scrub oak, while further south, 
There's a man milling live oaks, washed dead <clears throat> with one sweep of hurricane seas, gone inland, his ruddy hands working smooth the track of timber, destined to sail the very deadly sea that had abruptly stopped its green, prodigious life on the Galveston Strand. While further south, a padre lights candles on the altar of an old Spanish church in Fort Stockton as he thinks of his own home village, thousands of miles away in India, just south of Bombay. Texas flora, fauna, and people are so prodigiously diverse that one may never live long enough to truly know them all. This month, a young Marine come home to the Sam Houston Cemetery in Willis with only 22 years of knowing. <laughs>